In this edition of The Kong Show, we'll be introducing some new technology created by a longtime friend, Doug Schaefer. Hi, Doug. How you doing, Kong? First, let's get right to the meat of what's going on. You have some new technology, a new app. Yes. Well, it's a new app that allows you to earn loyalty points from a vending machine seamlessly. How does it work? Well, it works very easily. Once the app is on a person's phone, they just go up to a vending machine, they make their purchase, and they will get loyalty points that will come in via a connection that's made via Bluetooth. Okay, so you go to a vending machine, you have your iPhone turned yes, on right. with Bluetooth turned on as well. Yes. Doesn't that drain the battery? No, not at all. Actually, it's uh, called Bluetooth BLE, which stands for low energy. In the old days, or not old days, only maybe like two years ago. It <laughs> Time would moves fast these days. It, Technology is fast. on the move. Okay. So and it would drain your battery if you had like yep. headphones or something on, but they created a new form of Bluetooth that doesn't drain your battery, so uh, no problems. So you buy something from the vending machine. Right. And you get points. What do you do with the points? You exchange them. For? For all kinds of things, from iTunes songs on the, uh, on the Apple Store to uh, games, as well as Amazon gift certificates, 500 yen, 750 yen, or 1,000 yen denomination. Well, this sounds really cool. It is. So who developed this technology? Well, it was a team of us. Well, I shouldn't say us because I'm not anybody who can actually do development. But uh, no, we have a group, a really good group of guys and uh, women who uh, are doing the hardware and the uh, software side. Okay, now let me see if I understand this. You have your iPhone in your pocket. Yes. By the way, does it work with other smartphones as well? Uh, currently, we're only doing it on the iPhone. We can make it work with uh, Android as well, but because of some limitations that Android had in previous versions, we decided to focus with the iPhone now. But now that Android's come out with their, what do you call it, 5.0 lollipop, many of the issues are now fixed, and we'll be able to do both platforms very easily. Okay, and so you go up to a vending machine, you buy something, you get points on your phone. Yes. Yes. And does it work with any vending machine? No, it has to be. Well, currently we're doing a trial. So there's uh, several hundred machines in southern Osaka that are operated by Toyo Shokin and their Suntory vending machines. They have clearly marked POP on it. And once you have the app installed in your phone, there's a map. And you just open up the map. You'll see all the little red dots, red dots yeah. for where a location is. You click on that, and then it'll guide you to the nearest vending machine. And it'll give you the direction so you can go there. So it only works with Suntory vending machines machines in southern Osaka at this particular right. moment. Right, and not all Suntory machines, only those operated by Toyo Shokuhin. So again, it'll be clearly, it's clearly marked on the machine. Okay, now how do we get the app? How do you get the app? Well, you go to the App Store. It's only available in Japan, not available overseas. So if you're on the Japan App Store, you go in, you type in the words 1010 and uh, T-E-N, T-E-N, no space, and it'll show up. Now, you said only available in Japan, but could it be available or could you use this technology in other countries? And do you own a patent on this technology? We plan to roll out to other places, uh -huh. but Japan is the, is, the first, is the first market for us because, you know, vending, we decided to concentrate on first because of some of the unique challenges of it, and it's uh, the world's greatest vending market with more than 2.5 million machines wow. just in this country alone for drinks. So that's essentially where we're focused. Now, as for a patent, we have applications made for several patents. It's all relatively new technology, so we'll know soon enough. Could other companies use this on their vending machines as well? I mean, there are a lot of Coke machines out there. Well, currently, we're the only ones with this technology. and. It would have to be, you know, uh, multiple discussions. Right now, we have a very specific game plan and companies that we're working with, and we'll see where it goes from there. Could it be used on other things or in other ways other than vending machines? Could it be used in convenience stores, convenience stores, say, for example? Well, absolutely. And the technology that we've developed is for use. Uh, it's, it's about brands connecting with their customers in a seamless fashion. So uh, you can use it in any any type of anybody who has a brand or store who wants to have a better relationship with their customers can use this. Do you have more information on, say, for example, a website or a Facebook site? Uh, yes. Our uh, website is my1010.com and our Facebook site, you just go to Facebook uh, and you can uh, search on 1010 or join 1010. Is it 10-10 or 10 space 10 or no, just 1010? just T-E-N, T-E-N together. And what's the genesis of that name? What does 1010 mean? Well, the name, if you understand Japanese, certain characters or certain letters in right. Japanese have a 1010, which kind it looks like an apostrophe on that's added to the character to change it. So it's taking the character, like ka becomes ga, uh -huh. and it just changes the sound a bit, but it doesn't change the essence of the character. It just okay. is like a support to it. And essentially that's what 1010 does. We're a support to brands to be able to have a better communication with people. So we're not changing the essence of what they do. 
fascinating technology and what a brilliant idea. Thank you. What's the future of this? What's the future of 1010? Where will you take it after vending machines? Well, right now we're focused on our vending machines because it helps us uh, uniquely prove out our technology, especially when you consider there's nobody there. In a retail environment, there are people there, so you can use different types of technology in different ways. But to be able to authenticate when nobody's there, that was the challenge with vending. So now that we have that done and we're able to do that, we have multiple uh, companies that we're speaking with about potentially expanding this out, and there's a lot of ways you can do it. So I won't give away the secrets yet. Aha. Uh-huh. So you do have some plans for this technology oh, in the future. Of course we got plans. <laughs> if somebody wants to contact you about using your technology, can they do that? Oh, absolutely. And how can they contact you? Probably the easiest thing is go to our website and then just send us an email. Okay. Doug Schaefer, what is your position here in this company, by the way? Uh, I'm the COO and the uh, president for Japan, the resident director of Japan. All right. Doug Schaefer, thank you very much. Thank you, Kong. Thank you, Kong. 